Strong storms left their mark at a Spartanburg County home after a lightning strike set the place on fire. It happened in the Glendale area this afternoon. 7 News reporter Nikel Smith talked to the homeowner who was inside when the fire started. A collapsed roof, a scorched attic, and the sight of several fire crews. It's an experience that Brian C. hasn't seen in all his years. I'm 90 years old and this is the first fire I ever had. He says he and his wife were watching TV this afternoon when a storm rolled through. We were sitting there in the den and we heard a loud crack of thunder. After a few minutes, he says they smelled something burning but didn't realize it was their house. And we had a roast in the oven and I went to check it and that was fine and walked down the hall and smoke was coming out of the ceiling. He then rushed to call 911. Crews from Pacolet, Glendale, Croft and Converse were quickly on scene. It's pretty extensive. The, the, the entire attic was, was charred. Damage Assistant Fire Chief Robert Brown says was caused by a lightning strike, which isn't out of the ordinary during storms. Which apparently hit the top of this house, but I've seen it hit the front steps on a house and knock the piers out from the foundation. Within the same time frame, fire crews also responded to another call of lightning striking a house. They say that a home a few miles away on Montgomery Drive didn't catch on fire. So in the electrical storms with lightning, you can expect these kind of calls. This call leaving Brian C. without the home he's lived in for more than 30 years. It looks to me like it's a total loss. He says thankfully he and his wife were not seriously hurt and the items they lost can always be replaced. In Glendale, Nickel Smith, 7 News. Well, we're glad that family is okay. C says his insurance should cover the damage. In the meantime, he and his wife will be staying with relatives, and the C's are not alone. We did some checking. The National Fire Protection Association reports lightning causes more than 4,000 house fires on average every year.